Grade 7 Math, number 13.4, Use Technology to Make a Simulation for a Simpler Compound Event. We can use a graphing calculator or a computer to generate random numbers and conduct a simulation. We can simulate an experiment and use the results to estimate probabilities. We can use a table to help us organize the trials and to identify the favorable trial. Simulations are very useful when an actual trial is too difficult to perform, or it's too expensive, or it would be too time-consuming. Now to generate random numbers on a T184 graphing calculator, you need to press math, then the left arrow, and the left arrow again, and then five. You enter the lower limit and the upper limit of the random numbers. So let's say you want your random numbers to be one to 10. One would be your lower limit, and 10 would be your upper limit. You enter N for how many random numbers you want to generate. You press enter repeatedly to generate more random numbers. If you want a list of random integers, you just change the value of n. Now I read online that the T184 Plus calculator doesn't have this wizard that does this for the random integers, the rand int. So you can go online and look to how to generate random numbers on a graphing calculator, and this should come up. If you don't want to use technology, you can roll dice or use a spinner and do it the old-fashioned way. So the first thing you're going to do is choose a simple compound event to test. You choose the model the probability of having a favorable outcome, and you decide how many trials to do. You generate the random numbers like 1 through 10 or 1 through 5 is your sample space. You pick numbers that would represent a favorable outcome. And if we generate 1 as the lower limit and 10 as the upper limit, you choose which of these would be considered favorable. Maybe you'd like the even numbers to be favorable or the odds, or you'd like 1, 2, 3 to be favorable, however you want to do your experiment. Then, you actually generate the random numbers. You make a table to log the outcomes of all the trials. You find the experimental probability. How many favorable outcomes did we have out of how many trials? What's the ratio? What's the percentage of favorable outcomes? So remember, a simple event is an event that has one outcome, like the flip of a coin for heads or tails. And a compound event is an event that includes two or more simple events. Remember, they can be dependent or independent, like we've said in previous videos. The outcome is each result of a trial. The sample space is the set of all the possible outcomes of an event. So if you did do 1 through 10 as numbers, all those numbers, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, would be the sample space. And the complement would be all the outcomes that are not considered favorable. So if you said that 1 and 2 would be the favorable outcomes of 1 through 10, then 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 would be the complements. Okay? That's it. We made it. We're finished with seventh grade math. Good job. I knew we could do this. I was counting on you. And you know what? I'll see you in eighth grade. That's going to be our next one, okay? So I hope this was helpful, and I'll see you next video. Bye.